Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about rhyming slang, Cockney rhyming slang. First of all, I'd like to go back to where it comes from. Apparently it developed as a kind of secret language for London market traders in the 19th century. The relationship between the police and traders has not always been an easy one and what better way to avoid the police understanding what you're talking about than to develop a secret language. That's the origin. Nowadays, of course, rhyming slang has become a kind of popular, informal uh, way of saying things. How does it work? Well, you normally get a combination of two words, very often with and in between or of. And the second word then rhymes with what the expression actually means. For instance, an example that's come up in uh, an earlier video, for drunk, you hear Brahms and List. List rhymes with pissed. And so Brahms and List comes to mean drunk. Another example, apples and pears for stairs. Or trouble and strife for wife, or the dog and bone for the telephone. Now, rhyming slang doesn't only apply to nouns. You can also have rhyming slang for a verb. For instance, instead of believe, you could say Adam and Eve. Would you Adam and Eve it? Would you believe it? Now, uh, there's also a further development in rhyming slang, namely, sometimes the two elements will be shortened to only the first one. And so you're actually leaving out the actual word that rhymes with the meaning, which then means it becomes uh, difficult to know if you don't know the expression yourself. An example of that is originally bread and honey for money, but you may have heard in, uh, uh, in English people talking about bread when they actually mean money. So the second part has been left out. The same with a loaf of bread for head. Uh, informal expression would be, oh, come on, use your loaf. Use your head. Um, another one of those is cobbler's alls for balls and nowadays it's just cobblers now balls uh, not a nice expression but it also means nonsense so uh, certainly in british english if you hear someone say oh come on cobblers that just means i don't believe you that's nonsense uh, by the way the cobblers alls an all a w l uh, is a sharp instrument, a pick, used by cobblers, people who make shoes. Uh, another one of uh, those rhyming slang words that are uh, limited to just the first word uh, is pork pies, standing for lies, and which then becomes porkies. You're telling porkies, meaning you're lying. Uh, and a last example of the same category uh, is the raspberry. To blow a raspberry, uh, saying that's blowing a raspberry, which is an imitation of breaking wind, of a fart. Originally, the rhyming slang expression was a raspberry tart, uh, which then rhymes with fart, shortened to raspberry, which has come to mean something slightly different, yeah? namely imitating a fart with your lips and actually also mean a kind of uh, denigrating uh, idea of that's not worth anything, uh, uh, that's not worth anything, blow a raspberry. I hope you found this interesting. As usual, please leave a comment like this video if you did like it, otherwise tell me. Bye, see you next time.